Hey there Pisces, this is your October 2020 reading. I hope you've been watching my weekly readings I started doing, the little mini readings. Well this is similar but hopefully a little bit more detail. So in front of me I've got the general atmosphere for October already selected for you and we have the page of swords. Okay to me that is the um, jack of spades that can represent night time it can represent being up in your head it can represent secrets and lies um, worries and fears especially being that it's upside down it simply could represent a young dark-haired male or female um, and there's going to be a lot of journey going on through October around that particular person so let's just see what else we get right for your recent past Pisces your recent past we have the knight of cups so we have a declaration of love there we have an emotional journey going on again I feel this is around a younger person um, this time it could be someone with uh, brown hair fair hair um, even a redhead uh, we have the page of coins, so we have another young person. So I feel there's a lot going on about recent past and young people. Uh, we have job opportunities, advancement. Uh, we have a love journey going on here, a declaration of love. Now we have the star, but it's upside down. So the star is an Aquarian. Um, yeah, being that it's upside down, I always um, say that the sun and the star in the tarot deck, to me, are my favourite cards. Um, but even when it's upside down, I do feel there's something in your recent past, something you're wishing upon a star, something you're waiting for, something that you're hoping will turn out and turn around. But being that it's upside down, it just doesn't seem to be coming through for you the way you thought it would. Um, for some of you, you might have someone within the family. It might be you yourself, Pisces. Uh, there may be a fertility type thing going on here. There, this would represent a baby boy child coming into the family. Um, it's much needed. I do feel there's someone on the other side that's around you in a big way. Uh, maybe it's the anniversary or it's the recent anniversary of their passing. Um, male energy, again. Uh, but let's just have a look at the general atmosphere for the month of October. All right, we've got the world upside down as well. So these major arcana. And if you're wondering why the major arcana is coming out over here, I deliberately separated the two parts of the deck so that these are minor and then we got one major arcana in the row. Um, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, followed by the world upside down. Wow, stress and strain and getting nowhere fast. Um, you're all up in your head, um, Pisces. I feel that there's been some sort of injury or pain within you or your family here, and it's just an overload. I am happy to report that it's coming from an eight down to a five. So the sharpness of it all where you're just like, I'm over this. I want this over and done. I want to walk away from this. I want to wash my hands of it. Um, I just feel like a lot of male energy going on here. So maybe in October there might be a brother, um, father, husband, boyfriend. There may be some sort of injury that happens. Um, but the world being upside down, the world is to me, it's like the world at your feet and wanting to travel and wanting to do things differently and, and ready to step off and, on this new journey. Uh, I just feel like there's a lot of um, frustration and stuff going on for you where you or your children or your family, there's some sort of frustration going on where you can't have this. Like, why is my life looking like this right now? Why have I got all this stress and strain going on here? It's like you, you've got all this journey, this journey of love and new job opportunities. And it's just like, where's my star? Where's my reaching for the stars? Where's my world? Where, where, when am I going to get what I need? So I just feel like you've got a lot of, um, I, I don't like to say burdens, but it does feel like there's stress and burdens. Now, be prepared. It could be that there's arguing going on here some sort of family argument or within work there might be work arguments going on 
And it could simply be fears as well. You might be dealing with a child who's very fearful about the next step or very fearful about their future. And there are a lot of people right now that are very fearful with all this COVID virus thing going on that they're just like, where are we going with this? What's going to happen with all of this? Medically speaking, um, there's something to do with more to do with pain or injury, but this can represent drugs and alcohol as well. So there may be some sort of argument fueled by drugs and alcohol as well that's sitting around in October. I do feel a bit of stress here, guys. Okay, we've got another young energy here. Again, the pages can be male or female. I, I say any of the cards can be. You've got three pages have come out in here. So you've got all different symbols here. Uh, what else have we got? Mm. We've got the Knight of Wands. Male, 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 male. Do you work with a bunch of males? Do you live with a bunch of males? Do you have male children, male siblings? <laughs> uh, there's just something going on with male energy, masculine energy here. I do feel that you're working really hard, but you're getting very, very tired from it all because we've got this opportunity to go somewhere, opportunity to meet new people, opportunity to do new things, but you feel like your hands are tied through October. And then your last card, yeah, see, Chariot, you want to go on a journey, but it's upside down. Do be careful in your car, because we do have a five of swords, which is five of spades, and we do have the chariot, which is movement in a car. Um, it can represent a car incident. It can represent a run-in with the law. So don't speed, don't use your phone in the car, all those sorts of things. This could be a warning type thing here. I just feel like you um, you either need more male input in your life or you are in the thick of everything. It's sort of like this person's got a problem, you run over there and fix it. This person's not feeling well, you run over and fix it. You get an opportunity to go do something. You can't because you're fixing everything else. You get an opportunity to go on a, a beautiful date or a holiday somewhere. You can't because you're busy fixing something else. I just feel like you need to cut the ties with certain things in your life um, and start taking some adventure for yourself. Let's see what we get in the Oracle message. Reflection. Yeah, you're going over the past. Maybe you're going to have communication with someone from the past but I don't feel it's going to be the kind of communication you want to hear. It may be news from afar. Um, someone's had some sort of incident, some sort of injury, and, yeah, there's something that might be there that's a little bit upsetting. But it, it, I just feel more frustration and anger than sadness in this reading. I don't feel this is sadness. I don't feel that you're laying around crying your heart out about anything. I just feel like you're getting very, very frustrated with either your family, the people you work with, your own children, your partner. Um, and I'm not even seeing anything to do with a love connection apart from the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups wants to take you on a love journey. Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm at home with the kids. Uh, <laughs> Here's your opportunity to start a new business. Oh, I can't because I'm looking after this person and they've they've broke their leg or something. Um, gee, I, I tell you what, Pisces, it just looks like everybody comes to your table and puts their crap on you. So let's have a look. Hopefully these cards give us a little bit more insight, a bit of a positive outlook for October. But I'm sorry to say it looks like October is going to be a heavy duty month for you guys. Um, a lot of stress, a lot of... You might be meeting all different types of new people as well. And you may even be involved in some sort of party get-together. Um, I'd have to say engagement party. Maybe someone's going to have a shocking announcement and they want to get married. Um, I, I can't see that, though. I'm not seeing that here. The only reason I'm saying that is because when I see double nights and double pages or triple pages it's usually like the bucks night the hens night it's get togethers with men get togethers with women so maybe that's what this is all in aid of but i just feel like there's a lot of stress involved with all of it so let's just get your last cards a uh, document in your favor that's a medical document it sheds some light on something but it also could be a financial document um 
just be careful that all is known because this page of swords can be a liar so it could be that you're not being told the full truth about a, a situation but that normally is something going in your favor um, and the sword energy could also be something to do with legal matters and you're wanting something to come to an end you're getting very frustrated with it all in your recent past it shows stress and strain and getting nowhere fast but then you've got overflowing of love it's like you've got two things going up against each other here on the one hand you've got some sort of possible injury and pain or it's mental pain and overload um, and then you've got all this happiness and good health and sharing journeys with lots of people like I said this could be announcement that someone's um, getting married the nine can represent a pregnancy when it's black like that it's either a struggled pregnancy or it's an unwanted pregnancy that it's not the right timing uh, we have the bulk of the reading, the bulk of October is showing make the money and moving forward, going from $4 to $5. This is speaking your truth. Uh, we got male and female energy coming together here. In regards to babies, it's showing me baby girl, baby boy. It's both, it's showing both. And down here, again, if this is to do with pregnancies, we do have an energy from someone that's passed over something to do with september they're wishing someone a happy birthday uh that's all sitting around a female uh we also say have something to do with an april birthday or that's when they passed uh they may have passed in september as well so pisces you've got a lot of energies on the other side trying to help you with your frustrations you're going through you're angry you're like i said i don't feel sadness and, or disappointment I feel more frustration and wanting stuff to happen wanting it done and wanting to branch out and do new things and communicate with other people and I just feel like you're needed here there and everywhere so that is the reading for Pisces for October 2020 Hopefully when we get to uh, November 2020, this is all turned around and these cards are turning around and upright for you and you're going on a journey, you're traveling overseas and you're finally reaching your pinnacle here. But yeah, for now, these things are in the reading, so they are obtainable, just not yet. Just not yet. A little bit more frustration and... Um, but you are ending something. You are standing up your ground here. This is where you're standing your ground and saying, nope, this stops now. I've had enough of this. As I said, if it's a medical situation, this would represent drugs. So this would be medicine and drugs. There might be a change up needed. So anyway, Pisces, that's um, October 2020.